Hello everyone and welcome to Jiwoo's Bad Ending episode! Holy crap! We are back in Dandelion Wishes brought to you except yes, just recently in the last episode we have finished off Jiwoo's route in his good endings and stuff so we did all that but now we're back again and we're gonna get his bad ending this time and oh my god this took freaking forever i don't know like forever but like it was it was freaking hard okay because uh when i left off the episode of finishing jiwoo's uh, route uh, I went to go check the guide on how to go about doing his bad ending route and oh my god there's just so much requirements in order to meet in order for this to happen. So like essentially Jiwoo's route is like it's bad ending foolproof like you will like I guarantee you you will not get his bad ending no matter what. Like if you just do the logical thing of just keep pursuing him then like there is just no way you can get his bad ending on like your first run with him. So yeah so what the guide has said is basically uh, before mid-December on uh, on his 100 set point around that time period where you get his 100 set point you're supposed to get that and then also by that time you're supposed to get at least 80 set points with one other guy so that means that I had to go back through all my save files and I had to find a good like timeline like enough of a window for me to be able to, to to accomplish this and every single time I tried doing it I always missed that window of opportunity of you know completing that first part of the task by mid-December quote quote like I don't know mid-December like I guess like the December 12th ish sort of week so I always miss out on that and I end up just missing out on being able to get the bad ending or to have something happen that would trigger you know going towards the bad ending and so I had to restart over again had to do multiple save files in order to you know save my progresses and stuff and then afterwards it doesn't stop there no because by mid-December once you accomplish you know getting the 100 set point with Jiwoo as well as getting the 80 set point with one other guy you're supposed to go on ahead and get one heart with each of the guys by like January 25th I'm like Earl <laughs> like I <laughs> I am being such a big time hoe right now like you just forcing me to do this and like what's worse is that not only did I have to kind of find the right window of like time frame in order to do this I also like it was twice as hard because of course since we just kind of pursued Jiwoo all throughout this entire you know because it's his route duh it's that that causes you know us to have out us to have like all the other guys' set points to be super super low so like they'll be at like the 50 set points and then I would only have like I don't know like 20 with them or like 5 or none in, in Jisoo's case I had no points with him so it was so much managing so much like freaking like I had to you know go out with this guy on the weekend go out with this guy on the weekend try to encounter this guy on you know on the weekdays blah 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 and it was just uh, it was just so uh, it was it was a membugia very like you know my mind was I was going crazy so and I finally managed to get it and I double checked my sources so I also checked the guide and I checked another source like people who have done this in the past just to see if I'm on the right track and this indeed once you get to this cutscene right here on January 26 surprisingly uh, the uh, uh, just so you know the guide actually says the bad ending is supposed to occur on the February 26 February 20 no February 25th yes the guide listed it as February 25th but then I went through other like just the beginning kind of start of the bad ending people's videos like it was on January 26 that stuff starts to happen so I finally got this cutscene to trigger as you can see from the start of this text with Hee Jung um, we it, this is a little bit uh, after the fact that we hit him with the textbook so yeah during that little cafe meeting with, with encounter with him and the girls the, the authors so finally oh my god I didn't even know if I could manage to do this because honestly it was so it was so hard I, I hate this like I hated it the entire way it was just ugh gives me anxiety so yeah let's just get started let's see what his bad name is all about I don't know what is it what's about I just know that this is the start of it so yeah let's go so Jiwoo stayed low ever since the incident yeah the incident of me hitting him he didn't yell as much which is yeah given 
In the living room, Jisoo was lying on the couch watching TV while Ji and Jiwoo was sitting next to him reading a book. Jiwoo-ya. Jiwoo-ya. I carefully called his name. Okay. Bleh. Well, uh, Jiwoo answered carelessly with his eyes on the book. Uh, he's changed so much. Yes, he has. Uh, could he really be mad at me? Yes. Well, he's... He, again, this whole thing started off with her just... Like, because she did it, it's giving him mixed signals in his mind. Nah, she's just trying to bribe him. Look what you've done, Hee Jung. <laughs> nah, he's not interested, obviously. Like, even before, when we were on his good ending, like, when we asked if he wanted to go out on the side, he's just like, no, not interested. So, yeah. Ji would close his book without saying, without answering. This time he's good. He's showing a little bit more attitude. Oh my gosh. 내가 짐꾼이냐? 뭐못 가줄 건 없지. Oh, he's okay. He's still gonna come along, even though he's being all like pissy with us. Okay. 밥 주인, 토끼가 별로 탐탁지 않으면 ah, okay. 내가 대신 가도 되는데. Okay, okay. So Jis is coming in the picture, like he always been doing, like throughout Jibu's route. I don't want Jisoo cut in on cut in our conversation. No Jiwoo. Jisoo. No Jisoo. No, I'd rather talk with Jiwoo alone, yes. 그럼 저 바보 고양이랑 같이 가든지. No, I thought you said you wanted to come with me. Oh my god. Jiwoo casually returned to his book. Ah, oh, look what you done, Jisoo. Jiwoo. You just totally cock blocked me. Thanks. 뭐야, 저 녀석. 야, 내가 같이 가 줄게. Okay, yes, alright. Mm -hmm. Hey now, don't be calling other people sissy. Jesus. That's true, but... <laughs> I want to go with Jiwoo. I want to go with him, but no, girl, this is a bad ending. You're not gonna get him. 그리고 너 요새 풀만 잔뜩 사는 것 같은데 나 솔직히 생선 먹어본 지가 몇만 년은 된것 같다야. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Are you complaining right now that you haven't had any fish lately? 저번 주에 갈치구이 해줬잖아. 그리고 채식은 몸에도 좋고 고양이를 순하게 만들어 준다고 저번에 TV에서 그랬어. Well, I don't know about that, girl, because they... Cats are naturally carnivorous, so they need the meat in their diet. I told him while thinking about the documentary I watched. <laughs> it was about how cats become became gentle after eating only vegetables. <laughs> I don't think so, girl. I don't, I don't know if that's possible. Like, I don't yeah, I don't even know. What? You a TV channel and you saw a weird thing. Yeah, I figured. Like, they need that meat. But that's not enough protein, you know? Sense of sense. Okay, sorry, Jiu. Disturbing your quiet time. Jiwoo yelled angrily and got up from the couch. Uh, uh, he's probably like getting all mad because he thinks that we're getting along so well with Jisoo from our conversation. Okay. Uh, I don't think we were that loud. Well, to him. He's gonna be like, no. Just walked out the door. Shinkyong go. Yep, oh my god, look how fucking jealous he is! Holy shit! Okay. Jiwoo huffed and puffed as he walked to the front door and put on those- put on his shoes. Yep. Lovebirds. Yep. That- it's not how it looks, but it does to him. Jiwoo rushed out and slammed the door behind him. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Jiwoo. He's been reading too much on that romance novel, but you know. I can't blame him after what Hee Jung did. Jiwoo, is he acting that way since because he's really mad at me? Yes, low key very mad. Yeah, we do Okay. Uh, huh? Are we? Are we actually? Yeah, are we actually going? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. 
Oh. Kind of have to, because we gotta get food. All right, I'd want I'd wanted to go with Jiwu. Of course you did, but no. <laughs> things keep getting twisted because things keep getting twisted between him between between him and me. Yes. Don't get it twisted, Jiwu. Oh, okay, well, well then there you go, you guys. It's the stats I got going on. Okay, so maybe that's the cutscene that happens before the actual bad ending, which actually will occur on you know February twenty February twenty fifth. So okay, so we're on the right track. I'm just gonna skip on ahead. I, as you can see, you guys, this is what you gotta do in order to get Jiwu's bad ending. And oh my God, so much work. Anyways, yep, I will see. I will tune you guys in, and then we'll see how this all. All goes down. Okay, it's another cutscene. The game stopped me here on February the second on a Saturday, so I hardly see Jiwoo these days because these days because he's almost never at home. Okay, so this has to be new because I don't think I I remember anything happening here. But whatever, we're gonna go through this. I want to talk to him, but we barely see each other now, so it's a bit awkward. Yes. It seems so long ago, we used to be close. I know. Before he took a textbook to the head. Is he really mad at me? Yes. Well, yeah. Because I hit him with that- Because I hit him with a book that day. Yes. Uh, but you would deserve it for what he'd done. Well, I- You know, as I said, like, you could've just smacked him, like, once or twice, but you done hit him six times, girl. That's overkill. <laughs> uh- Oh, what the hell is TJ doing here? Okay, well, hi. Maybe it's cram school. I don't know. <laughs> why are you sighing? TJ sighed as well. Yeah, why are you sighing? I got every right to be sighing. Okay. Oh, right. He said that he has a rebellious sister. Okay. The one who cried after reading a romance novel. <laughs> right? Like, how old is she? Like, where does she? Where does one go when they're like 15, 16? You got no money, girl. Oh wow, ninth grade. So yeah, around like. 16, yeah, around 16, 17, 16, 17-ish? Yeah, around there. TJ, uh. TJ looks so worried, I feel bad for him. Yeah, I, I actually do. I can't believe she wouldn't even come home. Something like that was unthinkable when I was a student, right? I have, my parents would have just beat my ass if I did that as soon as I stepped back home after staying out like all night without telling them anything, they would have just beat my ass. I was worried about Hijay's sister, but at the same time, I thought she was really bold. <laughs> okay, okay, so maybe she receives allowance from that, but like still, you're a fucking student, you're poor as hell. Oh, that's right, Hijay's family owns a chicken restaurant, yes. Yeah, must be tough. Was that why he was falling asleep earlier at cram school? Because he's because he's been staying up late to help his parents. Yes. Ah, 선배, 우리 학원 책 바뀌었잖아요. 서점 가서 사 갖고 갈래요? And let me guess, we're gonna go find Jiwoo there, and then he's gonna be like hanging out with some other girls, and then you know, shit goes down. I totally, I'm totally calling it. Okay, to the bookstore. TJ and I went to the bookstore and walked towards the textbook section. I don't know, you tell me. I guess. <laughs> Is I? There, I? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I wasn't really listening to him, but nodded anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Grammar in us, Grammar in us. Ah, 맞다. 무신 책 이름도 그리 어려워. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is a little weird. It's really weird. Whatever. TJ and I skimmed through the bookshelf to look for the book. Yes. It starts with the G. It starts with G. So D, E, F, and G. 
Grammar in us. Yay. <laughs> Found it. Yes. Uh, I reached for the textbook. Okay. Uh, okay, EJ. I'll, I'll, I'll do his voice. Abata. <laughs> Uh, what? Oh. Oh! <laughs> we grabbed it at the same time, didn't we? Oh. Oh, okay, awkward. <laughs> uh, our hands met as we both reached for the book at the same time, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, this is so awkward. Hijay's face turned bright red, yes. Huh? Our hands just accidentally brushed you. Brushed against each other, that's all. Well, obviously, He Jung is just like, what? And then He Jae's all freaking out because he secretly has a crush on us. I took two books out and gave one to He Jae. Okay. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the voice again. He Jung, He Jung Sungbae. Uh. <laughs> oh, Sungbae. He calls us He calls us Sungbae. Sungbae. Uh. Why does he look so antsy? No, Kentana? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Hijay's acting a bit weird. Okay. I turned toward the cashier and spotted a familiar face. <gasps> Is it Jiwoo? Is that Jiwoo? Y maybe, yes. He was looking directly at me. Oh no! <laughs> he thinks we're totally hitting on every... <laughs> oh my god. He is just thinking we are just a damn hoe. And that's what we are. <laughs> what was he holding... What was he doing at a tech... Eh. What was he doing at a bookstore? Well, he likes to read, so I, I'm not surprised. Uh, he's been busy avoiding me whenever I would try to have a conversation with him. Okay. Oh, but yeah. that doesn't mean that he, you know, he goes out on about his own life and, you know, he visits the bookstore, buys more books to read. I mustered up my courage and ran towards Jiwoo. <laughs> he's gonna be so freaking like indifferent to us or even like really pissy just be like yeah so what <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just straight up calls us a hoe <laughs> okay yeah what? <laughs> flirt what does that mean what do you mean uh, yeah there he goes there he goes Oh, what are you disappointed about? <laughs> okay. Hate me? Yes. Ju had a hurt look on his face. Of course he does. You just full out smacked him with a textbook because he thought he likes you and all but now. And you you were given hints that you may like him and then then you did that and then now now he don't know. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Uh maybe smack him six times with a textbook? Oh yeah. <laughs> Of course she doesn't understand. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Jiwoo gave me a mean stare, turned around, and left the bookstore. Bye. Jiwoo! Look what you've done, Hee-jung. I kept calling for him anxiously, but he'd already left the bookstore. Jiwoo, why are you acting this way? <laughs> Hee-jung. <laughs> God damn it, Hee-jung. I think there's a misunderstanding. No, duh. I can't- I just can't figure out what it is. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, I'm a flirt? What on earth does that mean? Yeah, it's also because of the fact that I have a heart with every guy in the household right now too, so... Oh, Hijay. I totally forgot about Hijay. <laughs> Cause you're all like, you know, brushing hands against men, you know? What do you mean? Well, too late now. God. Hee Jae laughed awkwardly. Why did Jiwoo yell at me like that? Oh my god, Hee Jung, take a hint. Did I make him mad? What did I do? Be a straight up hoe, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm pretty sure it's gonna play out the same way. I'm gonna try to go up to the point where the bad is supposed to occur. So yeah, I will tune you guys in for more other stuff that's gonna happen. 
There we go, you guys. It's February the 25th, the promised day in which the bad ending would occur. So, uh, surprisingly enough, in the good route, in the good ending route, on February 25th, we're supposed to get the cutscene in which uh, Hee Jung is supposed to lure Ji Woo to, you know, with the two halves of the cabbage and the carrot and the kiss, you know, the whole conversation underneath the table. But instead of that happening, we are getting something completely different. So, let's see. The weekend was finally here, but I didn't feel like going out. No, duh. All the animals are out, though. Okay. I didn't feel like going out by myself, and it looks like it's going to rain soon. Okay. Jiwu hadn't said a word to me ever since the bookstore incident. Uh, we should fix any kind of misunderstandings we may have. I don't want our relationship to fall apart. Well, it's already falling apart, girl. <laughs> Too late for that. I looked at the clock, and it was already 4 in the afternoon. Okay. It's a bit early, but should I start making dinner? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Did someone come home just now? Okay, who is it? Jiwoo? I turned around in anticipation. Oh. Oh, what? <gasps> oh, it's, it's Oma. <laughs> uh, mom? Oh my gosh. It's been two years since I last saw Mom. Yeah. Why did she come here all of a sudden? Oh no, what am I going to do with men's clothes in the living room and the shoes at the front door? Well, I thought they were all out though. Or maybe they have extra pairs of shoes, right? What kind of excuse can I give her? Uh... Here you go. Friends! Here you go. Chingus! <laughs> oh ma, why oh ma. did you not call me beforehand? Her face turned dead white after spotting the shoes. My head went completely blank. I didn't know what to tell her. What should I do? No. And so what if I am mother? <laughs> what you gonna do about it? What if I'm living with five men? <laughs> I had to speak, but I couldn't. Wait, oh not She's gonna flip her shit. She's probably gonna drag us by the ear back home and everything. She's gonna make us go take go like go go study at the lawyer school and shit. And that's the end of that. Mom took off her shoes and walked towards me, and then smacked me upside the head. Oh oh God. God. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Uh, my decision to live by myself had nothing to do with the animals. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, looking at her furious expression, my body started to shake. Well, <laughs> funny you say, cause you know, one's uh, one's um, one has a really bad jealousy streak. It has a little has a little sister who's very sickly. Uh, the other is uh, a knight who is, uh, and who's uh, the butler of a young master who's the other one, and then the other one is the um, the one he has a lot of sugar mamas looking after him, and the other one's uh, the young master too, who's a, who's a chebo. He's the son, son of a rich banker. <laughs> what do you know, mom? <laughs> oh, mom. Oh, ma. <laughs> there was no way she would believe me, even though I told her the truth. Uh, how was I supposed to explain? Uh, I don't know. What? What is she oh, doing? Uh, oh, she started to pick up the animal's clothes. Okay, and then toss them out the window. Ma Ma I am pretty right? sure, knowing her, she's just gonna toss them off the balcony. Mom, mom picked. Ah, mom kept picking up all the animals' belongings without answering. Oh, then she took everything to the balcony and she just threw it over. Yeah, I knew it. No way. <laughs> yep, there she. Go I knew it. It's the, such a typical overdrum. Overly dramatic K drama thing to do. <laughs> when I went after her, it was already too late. Mom has thrown everything out the balcony, yes. Oh god, well, you can still try to save it by going downstairs. I looked outside and saw that the clothes were scattered all over the ground. That's what you call littering, Mom. You're supposed to at least grab it and give it to Goodwill. God, you're just. You're doing. You're not helping the environment at all, Mom. Mom went back inside, grabbed everything she can get her hands on, and walked out of the and walked out to the balcony again. Oh my gosh! Oh my God, right, Mom, 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 I'm I'm concerned by you getting arrested by like dumping. Okay, I ain't about to get a dumping, you know, 
what's it called? Dumping ticket or some shit like that. No matter how much I protested, she wouldn't listen. And when I grabbed her arm to stop her, she pushed me away as hard as she could. Ow. Ow, mom. <laughs> Jesus. No. Yep. Ma, I know. Mom, please. Like, you can't just storm into my house and then just start tossing shit and then put me at risk of having a dumping fine and then just drag me back to Seoul. Like, what the hell? What? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, no, the animals didn't do anything wrong. Oh <laughs> She's giving me like a headache. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she became even more furious, yes. Mom started to breathe hard. Oh god. That look on her face, I haven't seen that look since her dad since her and her yeah, since her and dad's divorce, yes. Back then, mom was angry every day, cried all the time, and threw things around. Yes. I could never forget her scary face. Uh, but I must protect the animals. Yes. Well, she's already kind of angry, so there's no stopping her now. Yep. I to be exact. Oh, I see I knew it. I knew this would happen. Yeah. As soon as you showed up through the door, Mom. Mom took a deep breath. Oh. <laughs> Take a while, I guess. <sighs> Is she gonna have a stroke? <laughs> she looks about ready to have a heart attack and just die right on this balcony. Mom's eyes went blank. I think she, oh, 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 there she goes. I think she's having a heart attack. Oh, sh I, am I? Wow, okay. I, damn. Oh, mom. <laughs> Mom is acting strange because she's in the middle of having a stroke, literally. Oh, nope, call 119 right now because she's about to just. Yep. <gasps> mom, this is what happens. See, Mom, this is why you shouldn't get so mad all the time. Jesus Christ. Oh, ma God, Mom. Oh, ma <laughs> oh, Mom. Mom fell helplessly on the floor. Mom! Mom! <laughs> Mom! What what should I do? Well, call the ambulance, duh, girl. Okay. <laughs> wow, that escalated so fast. It's entirely my fault that mom had just become this way. Uh, I wanted to make her happy. I tried so hard to see her smile, but I but I made her become sick. Mom, well, <laughs> uh, what can I possibly do for her before it's too late? I will do anything for you, mom, even if you are a bitch. From now on, I won't make my decision. I won't make my own decisions. Wow! Only if I could see you smile one more time, really, I will do anything. Is she bedridden now or what? Uh. Okay. Well, glad to see you are fine, Mom. God. Okay. No, uh -huh. <laughs> What a depressing life you live now, Hee Jung. Oh, 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 Mom, like, if you're so... I don't even know. I don't know, Mom. Mom, if you're so successful in on your own kind of thing where you can afford all these designer bags and shit like that and dress this way and dress all chable and stuff, like, I'm pretty sure she has a pretty good income source too, right? She has a good job, so why why do I gotta do the same? <laughs> Ugh. 
이번에 떨어지면 또 내년까지 기다려야 하잖아 작년에는 2차에서 떨어지고 <웃음> 올해는 무조건 붙어야 돼 Has it been like two years now? I guess maybe time skip. 공무원이라도 돼야 좋은 uh, 남편. I was already on my way to finding a good husband before you showed up, mom. God. Ah, uh, law school. <laughs> this is not the future I dreamed of. Nope. And uh, mom chose this future for me. Find a stable job to find a stable job to find someone decent and get married. Wow. If this is the life mom envisioned for me, I am satisfied. Wow. I am happy as long as mom doesn't give up on me. I'd never had to say. I'd never have a say in deciding my future anyway. Life will be easier if someone else decides my future for me. Oh my gosh. What was I doing in Busan living away from mom? <laughs> you fucked up, girl. I, I'm just saying. Like, is that the bad any? Nope. I wonder how Ju is doing. Yeah, my god. Like, how the hell did we clean up the mess of, like, just moving it? Did we just move out without telling them? Would he still be mad at me? I'm pretty sure yes. I don't even have the time to think about it anymore. I hope you'll find someone better than me. Uh, I will always cherish the time and memory we share together. Alright, bad end. There you go, there you go, you guys. I don't know how long that was, but yeah. There's that bad ending. Oh my gosh. So, I, I kind of figured, like, as soon as the ball was rolling, like, I, I kind of had a feeling of where it was going. And, and then, yeah, then, I, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> for me, it's like... Almost like the most stupidest way to get a bad ending, because number one, it's like, it's like, um, it's almost foolproof. Like you guys just know where you can get a bad ending on your first run with Jiwoo. Like you just have to be earnestly pursuing him, and that's basically it. There's like no trick questions. There's no, there's no trick to anything. On in either like the slightest change that you make or decision you make is that you get his bad ending instead of his good ending. So yeah, there's that. And then there's also like I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm not liking Heejung's too much in terms of Jiwoo's route. Like or at least in yeah her pers. Her attitude slash her, the way she reacted and stuff, and the way she she went about, you know, trying to to you know figure out her feelings for Jiwoo because she's just so she's oblivious. Like I know I know these heroine characters, these main ultimate female characters can be oblivious to a certain degree, but like this is like it's this is too much almost like i don't know like i can't really stand people like this like you can be oblivious but you can also just be like you can try to take a hint like any sort of hint just be like oh but maybe like you know i have maybe a feeling or me you know i don't want to jump to any conclusions but i'll just keep this in the back of my head but for now i'll see where it's going so like i know like like it's not good to jump to conclusions so fast but to be a this oblivious it's like it's too much i can't handle her i'm just screaming at the screen just like oh my god girl she's just like oh my god what did i do wrong what did what's like you know why why is he mad at me like oh uh, i think anybody regardless even if they liked you or not would be hella mad at you if you smacked them with a textbook six times in a row okay <laughs> god so yeah, so anyway, that is Jiwoo's bad ending, and so we will now proceed on to uh, Jian's row, which is the last of the buns. Oh my god, our precious little baby bunny right here. We will do his route in the next episode, or get started on it, and then we shall see what it is that we you know we, he has in terms of backstory, and like how he got involved with the game. So yeah, um... I guess so far, so far, I've enjoyed Jihei's route is number one for me. Ji was cl close to the close second, or even like inching his way to like the top. He's like the top two. Those those two are the top two right now. And then it'll be Jion and then Jisoo afterwards, maybe. I don't know. Those two cats are just like they don't they don't sit well with too well with me that much, especially Jisoo, whom I still do not have. A fucking idea on how and where he got that jealousy streak of his. It's just, it's just so unprecedented. I don't know where. Where did it come from? <laughs> it's like the seven wonders of the world. So, anyways, yeah. So we'll see how Jian's story plays out. And yeah, we are so close to finishing this game. So after Jian's route is essentially the secret route, and then we'll be done. Oh my god! So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in so far, and look forward to um Jian's route. So until then. Bye!